Okay, so okay. it's a pleasure to have here uh, Masayuki Ozeki from Tohoku University, and he will be talking about quantum annealing and machine learning. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you, thank you for invitation. And uh, yes, it's an honor to be there uh, by uh, network. So I'd like to talk about uh, our recent study on quantum annealing and machine learning and it's up the title uh, is slightly changed, subtitle is changed. So this is a brand new result from our team. So statistical mechanics of Q-boost. So Q-boost is a boosting technique of, uh, by use of the quantum annealing. So therefore I will introduce uh, um, quantum annealing and uh, its present uh, its present situation and uh, how to implement uh, boosting by use of the quantum annealing method. So maybe most of you know them uh, as I must say, Kyozeki belonging to the Tokyo University and uh, I have a cross appointment to, to the uh, Tokyo Tech. And uh, my original interest was uh, spin glasses and uh, sparse modeling for data analysis and, and uh, using uh, machine learning technique. And uh, now uh, absorbed into the uh, quantum annealing uh, to optimize uh, uh, some cost function and uh, by use of the quantum fluctuation. So most of you know that um, in Japan, we had uh, some enthusiasm on the quantum competition. So, so we, our team uh, made established a quantum startup named as a Sigma I. So Sigma I, you know the uh, name of the Ising spin variables. So the Sigma I is uh, a startup by use of uh, uh, quantum technology, uh, in particular quantum annealing for solving the industrial problems from the uh, Japanese companies. So anyway, so I am also belonging to the uh, Sigma I as a CEO. So anyway, so uh, in Japan, uh, many of people um, interested in the quantum annealing techniques. So maybe you know, but uh, I would like to introduce the situation presenting situation of uh, quantum annealing. So the definition of the quantum annealing, so quantum annealing is a method to solve combinatorial optimization problem. So you know the combinatorial optimization problem has a discrete variables, for example, integer or binary variables. And uh, we said the cost function to be minimized or maximized uh, depending on the situation and with various uh, constraints. So you know that many applications of the combinatorial optimization program exist in every area, in industry in particular. So however, it often takes exponentially long time to solve them. So you know that may be hard problem to solve the, this kind of the subject. So the, in quantum annealing, uh, in order to solve efficiently, um, combinatorial optimization program by use of the quantum superposition uh, by inducing the, some quantum fluctuation. Typically, we use uh, quantum transverse field, uh, quantum transverse field. So then the cost function is uh, um, depending on uh, the cost function changes depending on the problems, the details of the problems. So anyway, we reduce the cost function, its form into the uh, quadratic and constrained binary optimization problem. So you see the, um, the left hand side equation E of X is the cost function of these problems. <clears throat> so but uh, you see the X, for example, the binary variables there or one or plus minus one. So then we can, in, in, you can, uh, interpret this cost function into a uh, uh, Hamiltonian of the Ising variables. So then if you uh, implement this system into the physical system, for example, the quantum spin systems or some quantum experimental situation, so then not nature can solve this Ising model 
So the output of the uh, some uh, uh, state of the Ising model. So then you can get uh, some result depending on the cost of function. So for example, in the quantum annealing case, in very low temperature uh, system we have, so then uh, we manipulate uh, some protocol according to the quantum annealing. So then you can get ground state. So the ground state has the lowest cost energy, lowest cost value. So then you can obtain the minimizer of the cost function as a result. Yes. So uh, this is a schematic picture of the protocol of the quantum annealing. So uh, yes, formulate the first formulate the optimization program in terms of the quadratic binary optimization program. So we call the Ising model. So after that, we introduce a quantum fluctuation uh, generating the uh, superposition, quantum superposition like this. So f of t is a, a time dependent schedule coefficient. So starting from the zero and uh, to the uh, one. So initial state, initial condition is only the uh, quantum fluctuation terms. So generating the superposition of the up and down direction spin states. So here is a uh, definition of the H1 part uh, transverse field terms. So after that, uh, we gradually decrease the value of the quantum fluctuation. So then the problem, the target Hamiltonian we call often. So H0 is given by the uh, cost functions we want to solve. So F of T uh, gradually increase. So then the uh, effect from the target Hamiltonian uh, becomes dominant gradually. So therefore, if you control slowly um, um, under the condition of the quantum adiabatic condition, so you can get a uh, ground state after the, this protocol. So this is a, a quantum annealing. So but unfortunately, if you uh, use quantum annealing to solve the optimization problems, NP hardness remains <laughs> even by use of the quantum mechanics. So this is a very strong uh, difficulty of the combinatorial optimization program. So therefore quantum fluctuation is not some uh, uh, is some not good uh, news, uh, but uh, if you implement quantum annealing by some uh, quantum device in the practical time, actual time is very fast. So therefore, uh, in, in the sense of the uh, actual time, we solve the combinatorial optimization program efficiently by use of this uh, quantum annealing. And uh, uh, another good news is uh, uh, quantum annealing is generic solver. Uh, so this does not depend in, depending on the uh, structure of the problem. So we always can perform uh, the quantum annealing. So in this sense, uh, quantum annealing is a generic solver. And uh, now we consider uh, the case with the only way the transfer field transverse field, but if you implement the x x interaction, two body interactions, in with respect to the uh, power matrix x matrix, so then the, you can implement the x x interactions, so that uh, can be update of this protocol, quantum annealing protocol, uh, generates a, a wave function, uh, generic wave function, so QM a complete situation you can realize. Anyway, but uh, the current situation, quantum annealing is uh, considering uh, on the case of the uh, with the uh, transverse field. So, but <clears throat> maybe you know, so real quantum annealer appeared. So, the web systems, Canadian startups, invent, implement quantum annealing on their superconducting qubits. So, their um, 
current system, the Web 2000 cube we call. So with the 2048 qubits and the implement uh, transverse field, so controllable and the tuning the schedule to uh, change the strength of the transverse field. So, but uh, unfortunately, the uh, Web 2000 Q has a low uh, sparse connection between the qubit. So, therefore, they implement a 2048 qubit, but on uh, uh, physical qubit is uh, 2048, but logical qubit only 64 qubits. For, for example, we, if we implement the fully connected Ising model for in particular, Shellington Kirkpatrick Ising model, so something like that. If you want to implement the fully connected Ising model, so then this device can implement 60, 64 logical variables. So anyway, you can perform as a quantum annealing as an experiment by use of this device. So, <clears throat> oops, no. Sorry. Yes. So let let me introduce uh, our um, applications of the quantum annealing for solving the optimization problem in industrial programs. Yes, the problem is concentration on this Hamiltonian, you know. So I think Hamiltonian. So any kind of the optimization problem you uh, rely into this form. So then you can solve the optimization problem quickly by use of the D-Web 2000Q. So therefore we perform various, various collaborations with many companies. So for example, the first one is the automated guided vehicles and control of the automated guided vehicles in the factory. So this is a collaboration with Denso corporations. So which is a car supplier, car parts suppliers. So the second one is a hotel recommendation service, web service uh, named as a JALAM uh, for booking the hotel uh, by internet, internet way, internet work. So the other uh, many companies with uh, we collaborate uh, uh, many companies, so and uh, we have uh, some teams on the Tohoku University. So the name is uh, Tohoku University Quantum Manuring Research and Development. So this is a starting from this was starting from the GST start project and the promoting the collaborative researches. And as a result, we established uh, two startups in Japan on the quantum computing. So the first one is a Sigma I, and the second one is a JIJ. So JIJ supplies some uh, uh, open source software uh, for using the quantum annealing by DWeb 2000Q or by uh, different type of the solvers for the solving the uh, Ising model and uh, by use of the simulation uh, on the digital computer. Uh, following the quantum Monte Carlo simulation or simulated annealing, something like that. So uh, the first one is movie. So sorry, maybe the internet connection, <laughs> uh, depending on the uh, status of the internet connection, the uh, slide is slowly uh, <laughs> provided, sorry. Anyway, starting from the uh, videos on the uh, moving, the, automated guided vehicles on the front. This is a movie. Uh, so this is a, um, a standard control style of the uh, standard control of the automated guided vehicles in France. So sorry, the movie does not work well. <laughs> anyway, so you can see the maps. So, and you can find some points, green points, green dots. So green dots move along the uh, load, black load, black lines. So then the automatically the green dot uh, moving according to their some uh, tasks. 
So then uh, move ratio of the moving uh, points, moving the cars, moving automated guided vehicles is 70%. The remaining 30% of the AG boys automated guided vehicles is does not uh, move uh, because of the uh, congestion of the automated guided vehicles. So therefore we have to uh, reduce uh, the congestion, traffic jams on the automated guided vehicles. So then we consider the optimization problem. So we uh, lied the cost function for reducing the overlap between different cars, different moving points, different uh, automated guided vehicles. So then you can have the Ising model. So then you send the Hamiltonian of the Ising model to the D-Wave 2002, so you can get the result. So what uh, causes uh, for each guided vehicles is appropriate. So you can get a uh, best solution from the D-Wave 2002, so you uh, control depending on the uh, result, yes, you can control <coughs> automated guided vehicles depending on the result of minimization of the Ising models, Ising cost functions. So in that sense, Ising model is very useful in industry. <laughs> so you see the uh, moving on the point green dot, and uh, in addition to the green dot, you can get Increasing the ratio, increasing the radius of circles with color blue. So the blue color circles denotes uh, cumulative weight uh, because of the car congestions. So then you see there are some figures uh, of the move, moving ratio, ninety-five percent or nineteen percent. So increasing increase of the uh, moving ratio, you can confirm. So this is a result obtained by the D-Wave 2002. <clears throat> okay, movie will end. So this is a result of the uh, collaboration with uh, uh, Recruit Lifestyles. So optimization, some web service, recommendation web service for the booking of hotels. So, um, here is a map of the hotel. So the, he, the, there, uh, in this research, we set uh, some working hypothesis. So listing of similar regions and the classes and the types of the hotels lead to the decrease of the number of booking because the uh, similarity of the items reduce our interest, our enthusiasm. <laughs> so therefore, boring, yes. So therefore, uh, we increase some diversity for choosing the uh, uh, hotels on this service. So then we employ the d -Web machine for better listing of the hotels for increasing info increase in diversity by using of this kind of the Ising model. So this is very similar to the um, ES anti-ferromagnetic and uh, with random field Ising models. So then this is a bit difficult to solve the ultimate solve in this cost function uh, by using the, some solvers, typical solvers for solving the combinatorial optimization problem. So instead of that, we employ the DWM machine. So then you can get a good result, good, good listing of the hotels. So in, in fact, we test this result, actual web service, web, web service of JRM in uh, summer. So then the, we, we can get uh, some uplift uh, after this test. So in this sense, uh, I think a model is very useful in industry. So <clears throat> as a uh, uh, original, some um, application for this kind of the optimization program. So for evacuation uh, from the disasters for for example, the tsunami. So you know that in Japan, uh, East area, 
attacked by the big tsunami after a big earthquake 2011. So then we considered to how to escape efficiently from the disaster. So then we have to, we uh, encounter the, some car congestion, heavy car congestion. So therefore we have to reduce the uh, con car congestion by considering some good way. So then we propose uh, to use uh, the deep web quantum manila for solving the combinatorial optimization problem uh, when we escape from the big disasters. So this is a result, maybe, maybe, maybe move, yes. <laughs> yes, you see the uh, movement of the uh, blue circles. So blue circles uh, denote the uh, location of the cars or people or bicycles or something like that. So then you see the, uh, some jamming the, of the on the area on the maps. So narrow area maps uh, denote the bridges uh, along the rivers. So therefore, uh, yes, th this result: uh, each car escapes from big tsunami. Uh, uh, avoiding the, uh, some. Mm, uh, so therefore we can obtain the efficient way for escaping the uh, uh, peoples from the big disasters. So there, these are the results and these are the reality of the applications of the optimization. Yes, and as a target of this workshop, uh, we interested in the machine learning by use of the, in some sense, the quantum, quantumness. So for example, by considering the, uh, some quantum mechanics and uh, for us, we can use the quantum annealer, quantum device. So therefore we, interest, we are interested in the, uh, some wellness or a good point of the uh, quantumness for applications to the uh, machine learning problems. So this is a summary of the quantum annealing. Yes, you know, the quantum annealing is just a method to solve a combinatorial optimization problem. So that quantum annealer is actual device <laughs> attached with some heat bus with very low temperature. But this is a real device. And therefore, so this quantum annealing is not perfect. So therefore, in theory, quantum annealing can obtain the ground state if you control very slowly, decrease the uh, quantum fluctuation. So then you can get the ground state. But this theory is on the isolated quantum system. But the actual case, quantum device is in open quantum systems. So therefore, the some effect from the heat bus attacks the performance of the quantum annealing. Yes, in, in fact, if you uh, solve the optimization problem by use of the quantum annealer, uh, of the, for example, the web 2000 cube. So then you can get the approximate ground state. So good solution, but not exact ground state. So lower energy state you can get. Moreover, the solution following gives Boltzmann distribution. So therefore, Actual quantum annealer is a, is just a generation generator of the spin sequence binary strings, according according to the Gibbs Boltzmann distribution with the energy depending on the uh, input cost functions, and with very low temperature. Okay, yes, in very low temperature you. Uh, perform some samplings 
depending on the cost function. So you can get very low energy state you can get, but not exact ground state <laughs> approximate solution. So therefore quantum annealing uh, is not perfect solver for solving the continental optimization problem. Instead of that, quantum annealing is rather uh, for generator of the spin uh, variables according to the uh, gibbs boltzmann distribution. So therefore, for example, you know, most of the uh, applications of the quantum annealer uh, to the machine learnings, uh, the first one is well known, uh, for applications of the quantum Boltzmann machine by use of the quantum uh, device, D1 2000Q, yes. So back to quantum Boltzmann machine, uh, yes, actually we can induce uh, a quantum fluctuation on device uh, with this cost function and the transverse field you can apply. But uh, on the D-Web quantum manera, uh, we can get uh, the result uh, by observation on the basis on the base of the Z power Z matrices. So therefore, uh, you cannot get uh, some uh, quantum effect uh, depending on the direction of the measurement of the spin variables. So I I, I want to say uh, this uh, this quantum Boltzmann machine. Uh, application of the quantum Boltzmann machine by use of the DW2000Q is not perfect. Approximately okay, but uh, quantum it is not sufficient for using the uh, quantum Boltzmann sample. Uh, DW2000Q is not perfect. Rather, the, yes, the result of the quantum annealer is rather the classical. So therefore, uh, maybe yes, uh, uh, you can you can apply the uh, the web quantum meter uh, to the problems of the crash car Boltzmann machine. Yes, this is okay. So and this is Q boost. So in Q boost, uh, there is solve uh, some combinatorial optimization problem for selecting the good weak classification and boosting the weak classification uh, by considering some ensemble of the weak classifiers. So therefore, this is just uh, uh, combinatorial optimization problems. Of course, uh, you know the quantum annealer is not perfect solver for solving the quantum uh, optimization problem, but approximately you can get a lower energy state. So and you can judge the quality of the uh, result uh, with respect to the uh, not to the cost function but to the uh, some general general generalization of the uh the, against the data so therefore different measure you can apply so and you can indicate uh, some goodness and uh, wellness of the uh, quantumness so that is a problem and uh, we are interested in the how well quantum annealer or quantum device uh, helpful or useful in machine learning. That is a problem, that is a point. So in the present study, we are interested in the analysis of the uh, actual application, actual um, algorithm uh, for in the uh, machine learning. So namely the Q boost. Uh, so just, I like just to, to make sure there is about still yeah. three minutes and then the discussion mm -hmm. time would start, oh, but of sorry. course you can yes, run yes. a little bit into the discussion okay. time. I just wanted to make you aware. Okay, so this is a, a statement of the QBoost. So for M data set you prepared and we, for simplicity, we consider the Y mu is the level of the data minus one and the plus one. So depending on the some uh, data vectors. So, and we prepare uh, several weak classifiers. So phi of K is a, a weak classifiers. So, and you prepare the N items of the weak classifiers. So weak classifier is not perfect classifier. So this is an example of the weak classifier. For example, in this case, a binary classifiers, 80% is succeeded. So, and 70% succeeded. 
and uh, eighty percent succeeded. So you consider the combination of the weak classifiers like this. So then, uh, yes, we consider the uh, combination of the weak classifiers. So CK denotes the binary variables use or not use. When CK takes a one, uh, we use this weak classifiers. And when CK takes a zero, so we do not use this weak classifiers. So then in some sense, a majority bot. So then you can update the uh, performance of the uh, classifiers. So by throwing the, yes. So for getting the uh, good choice of the weak classifiers, so you can set some cost function and use slow the optimization problems. As a result, we can get a more, a stronger uh, weak classifiers, stronger classifiers. So this is a wrong case, but if you add some weak classifiers, so you can get a perfect uh, strong classifiers. So this is a, a result uh, given by the neighbor, helped me to neighbor, uh, 2020s, uh, compared to the other boost. And uh, this is a result for the real data. Uh, from the picture, uh, you can detect the three color. Yes, so this is a problem setting of our, our problems. So the y mu is given by the uh, data set a priori. So, and we consider the weak crash fires. So then this is a, a, a very important assumption on weak crash fires. So y mu and y mu k is in average non-zero, but very small performance overlaps between the, uh, uh, the correct answers y mu and y mu k is output from the weak crash fires. So then we define the cost function and we set some regularization by sparse construction of the uh, strong, strong crash fires. So then we apply uh, the replica method for solving the, uh, for assessing the typical performance of the, uh, this, uh, this problem settings. So then you defined other parameters, so in some sense, magnetization, so correction of the weak crash fires, and you can you can define the other parameters of the spin graph, or the parameters like that. So then you can have the energy time and the entropy time, and you can have the free energy, and you can uh, extreme of the free energy. As a result, we can get southern point equations. So then we can obtain the typical performance of the Q boost, and you can assess the indoor temperature limit, and you can find phase transition in performance of the strong crash failures. So this is the result. So the batch power access denotes a ratio of the details of the crash failures, and the horizontal axis denotes a gamma average accuracy or in some sense the variance of the performance of we crash fires. So then if you increase the uh, variance of the we crash fires, performance of the we crash fires, you can observe the first order phase transition. So sudden change uh, to the uh, better, uh, better accuracy state. So you can find the first order phase transition. Uh, horizontally and vertically. So different situation, you can get uh, phase diagrams. Yes, so better we may add quantum, quantum fluctuation, for example, the transverse field. So and the quantum fluctuation leads to the wide flat minimum. So then the entropic effect induce and uh, increase the generalization performance of the machine learning in general. Yes, this talks. So that, uh, so far, we cannot get some quantum merit on these problems. For example, uh, if you induce a very low uh, strings, uh, weak strings of uh, transverse field, so then you can only the shift of the phase transition point. So, and you have to uh, increase the number of the data and you have to increase the uh, strength uh, performance of the weak classifier for getting the uh, better strong classifier uh, if 
we induce uh, transverse failure, the over quantum fluctuation. So that this is a preliminary, preliminary result. Maybe so the yes later uh, I can I I will show <laughs> more detailed result on this analysis. So anyway, this is the summary uh, in the present study, and we analyzed the statistical mechanics performance of the Q boost. The so QBoost is an application to the machine learning of the quantum manila. So that, uh, yes, and we need an adequate number of data and we need adequate strength of the variance of the weak classifier and the both of the uh, both conditions satisfies. So then you can find some uh, sudden change of the uh, typical performance of the combination of the weak crash fires. So this is a performance of the pure boost by considering the statistical mechanical suits. So that's all, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the interesting insight into real life applications also. Yeah. Um, are there questions from the audience? We have still a few minutes. Maybe I can start briefly. Um, when you talked about the automatic uh, guided vehicles uh, running around mm -hmm. the map, it wasn't clear to mm -hmm. me how this problem is mapped to an Ising model. Yeah, yeah very simple because uh, uh, yes, the movement of the automated guided vehicles according to their task. So in, in a priori, uh, we can provide. So how to how to choose how to go uh, the automated by vehicles. So then, but uh, if you in, in the intersection on the intersection, uh, many of the uh, automated guided vehicles will conflict. So then, which automated guided vehicles go straight or stops? So that is the Ising model. Very simple, very simple, but very useful for industry. That is a message. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, are there further questions? Well, I don't see any at the moment, um, which is also fine because then we will be in time again. So we will uh, thank you once again uh, for the interesting talk. Thank you, thank you very much.